in this video we're going to talk about how we do this paint job All right, so what we have here is the roof to our uh, 1965 Chevy step side, but I've turned it into a fleet side. What I've done is I've gone ahead and I've sprayed uh, primer on here. That's all I've done. Uh, the primer I used was this uh, Tamiya Fine Surface Primer uh, for plastic and metal. Um, and it's the white, white color. You can get this in a couple of different colors. I think there's a gray and a black maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. I just like using this white because it doesn't change any of the colors and sometimes can make them brighter. Um, and it, it works nice if I'm not using, if I'm not doing any body work or anything, it lays down real smooth and slick. I don't got to worry about sanding it. Nothing like that. I can just spray it on there and then paint right over top of it. And then the next step we're going to do is we're going to take this Gravity Colors. Uh, it's uh, Chevrolet Texas Ivory. Um, it's a pretty cool color. I like it for like the like the old school look you know um we're gonna go ahead and spray that down on top of here and then uh we'll come back and show you what we do next so here's where we're at um we've got this thing painted now in our gravity color chevrolet texas ivory uh it's a really cool color for the old school look um, now what we're going to be doing is doing some taping some taping off of it and this is just an old gorilla or an old frog tape container. But I fill it with all my Tamiya tapes and stuff like that. Um, anything I need, basically, I try to keep in here uh, because it keeps the edges clean. Uh, and some of this tape doesn't come in. Um, doesn't come in um, a little compact carrying dispenser things, but. Uh, I know that to me it does, but I don't use them uh, just simply because it's cheaper to get it this way and well, that's the way I use it. Uh, I keep it in these to keep dirt from getting on the sides. I don't lay it down on my desk or anything like that. I usually try to keep it laid in here and all that good stuff. Now this is a Tamiya tape here. It's a vinyl stretchy type stuff so you can go around corners and stuff like that really, really easy. Uh, it's the same quality now as the other Tamiya tapes. I don't have any issues with this. Um, but I only use this when I'm trying to go around corners like little things like this. I won't Any other thing like straight lines and stuff. I'll just use this. I won't use this because this stuff's pretty pretty expensive. I think um, So yeah, what I'll do is I'll just take turn me off a little piece of it About like say that and I'll make sure I put it back in my container Now we're trying to go around the curves on this thing and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up just like so and I'm just going to start putting it down. And when you get to a curve you can stretch it a little bit so it'll hold its shape and you can just stretch it right on around there and follow it around just like that right there. curve just trying to follow the, the edge of that drip rail all the way around on this thing so that way I know my tape's even around it. All right, now that we got that done, I'm gonna look at breaking this thing up in the four sections now. Um, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right across this line here with the section, and I'll probably try to go right down the center. So it'll be one, two, three, four sections. Um, and that'll let me do my little design patterns that I want to do on here. Um, it shouldn't let me have any issues. All right, so we're going to take some of this same tape because it's the same, the same wideness, and we're going to go right across that line there that I was talking about.
right here. I try to get it right. I just want to make sure it's lined up across there good, straight. All right. Now what we're going to do is, is we're going to try to get this down the center. I'll take another piece of the same tape so we got the same width. try to get it we're just going to eyeball it we're not going to measure nothing or nothing like that you can keep playing with it till you get it where you want it It's looking pretty good there, I believe. So I think we got that finally straightened out um, to where we like it there. And again, just go around and make sure you know you got your edges stuck down to where it meets other tape. Then what we can do is we have this other, this regular old Tamiya tape. And we can take that and go around the outside just to make sure we've got everything covered, especially along that drip rail and all that. Taking power off a piece. And with this, you got to remember that this underneath here is going to show whenever you put this truck together. So you got to make sure you get that covered up as well. You can see this tape doesn't want to bend too well. You don't got to worry about getting the edges straight, so you can kind of. And you go through a lot of tape with this project. Um, you go through more tape than anything. Um, you spend more time masking than you do painting. You, you mask for an hour, or you'll paint for like two minutes. Make sure you get make sure your edges stayed down good. You don't want to get any paint under there and ruin everything. You know, paint bleeding. Especially in this other to me a tape, it's flexible stuff. Um, make sure you got it stuck down there good where it connects again. There we go. And, be through with the tape for now. Um, I'm gonna put another stick on this thing just to hold it up away from everything. And our next step is going to be um, to paint in here, and we're going to use um, this Auto Born um, sealer. This is the silver sealer. Uh, they have this in light and black as well. I just saw at my local Hobby Lobby started carrying it now. When I bought this, the silver was all they had. And I mix it. If you read the back, it'll tell you exactly how to mix it. And I mix this with um, with 4112 high performance reducer. And this says mix it at um, 4112 high performance reducer, 10% per volume. So. That's what this here is that I've mixed up now. I already mixed up. I, I have a bunch, I have it mixed up already because I use quite a bit of this. So I just leave it in the bottle here. And what I'm gonna do is, is this gonna be my next. I'm just gonna spray it in here, just get good coverage, and that's gonna be that. And this stuff is water soluble. Uh, there's basically no fumes that come off of it. And I can spray it right here at my bench. No need to go over to my spray, uh, to my spray booth and all that. Um, so yeah, you can just load up right here. You only need just a little bit. If you can see that down in there, and it's just a little tiny bit. We'll come out here and we'll just spray it. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna ruin my cutting mat. I just got it basically. <laughs> So, uh, we do a couple of test passes, make sure we're spraying good, looks okay. And we need a little more 
on that. And we're not really, um, we're just trying to put a coating over this. We're not trying to put a lot on it. So we'll sit and let that dry and then see what it looks like. And we can also hit this with a hair dryer um, to help it set. Okay, so now you can see we have the silver sealer down and it's good and dry now. Um, you can skip this step if you want, but for me, um, I like to go that extra little bit and add that extra uh, little bit of flare to it. So I have this glitter stuff. So I create a, create a FX uh, testers. It's just glitter, spray glitter in a can. Um, you, I know uh, Rust-Oleum has one. A few others have them. Uh, this is just the one that I have here. It works real nice. Uh, this is the silver. You can get it in the gold. Uh, stuff like that, you know. It's just basically like, the, like all their other cans. Uh, with this stuff, I'm actually going to, um, or I want to try to anyway, uh, because with this stuff, you want to go light coats, and you can add as much as you want, just keep adding light coats, you don't want to get too heavy with this stuff because of the solution that this stuff is set in, it'll get real thick and look real, real messy on there, so just go light coats with it. Alright, so here's where we are guys, I'm kind of zoomed in a little bit because this is going to take you being able to see what I'm doing. Um, I, I put the glitter stuff on there you and now that's two coats there the camera's picking it up that well I don't really know if it will or not till I play it back um, and then I put a coat of clear on there to seal all that in because when I because I'm gonna be putting some tape down on this and I don't want it peeling up my glitter basically uh, so that's why I did that now we're gonna come in we're gonna take some tape now this is um, I'm gonna section off one section from these four so it'll probably be we'll do this front one right here so I'll section these other ones off I'll just tape them off um, and you won't see them basically and go just like that now you won't even won't even see them and then we'll go across there to get rid of that one like so now we're just going to work in this section here now a few things you got to take into consideration when you're doing this now what it is, it's called a fade paint job and what I'm going to be doing is just spraying fades back now I want them to look like the hard edges are toward the front of the car and the faded edges go toward the back of the car you know like it's moving like it's moving forward and the paint's going back this way if that makes sense to you um, so there's a few things you got to do to figure out um, how you're going to do that with this because this takes a lot of tape um, so I want it to be spraying back that way so I'm going to have to bring my tape up this way I think is that how it's going to work I start here I'm just going to put it back this way so I start back there I'm just going to put it no I'm going to start here yeah that's what we'll do so we'll start here now I'm going to use this is six millimeter tape and you want to make sure that you get your you want to use the same tape throughout this whole process basically um, because what I'm doing is is I'm going to take and I'm going to line up this edge of the tape will be right in the corner and then this edge of the tape will be right out on this corner so it's at an angle if it makes sense to you just like this right here Line up that edge in that corner and that edge on that corner. Right there. Okay. Just like that. So now when you spray this, you're going to get it at an angle. And then you just want to keep working your way back around. I'm doing the same thing now because you're just going to slant it back 
No. Again, you're going to put this side right in that corner, and you're going to put this side or this side right on this corner, basically. Just like this. And then you just keep doing it throughout the whole process till you get all the way around. Takes a lot of tape. You spend more time taping than you do painting, but that's the nature of the beast. And I never figured it out. Like, there's a, a guy's a good friend of mine, and I asked him before I did this tutorial if it was okay if I did it because he's the only one that I know that does this kind of stuff. Um, and he always said that his paint jobs require more taping than they do painting, and I never quite understood that until I figured out how to do this. But, you know. All right, so you get the idea. So I'm going to finish taping this up. All right, so as you can see, we've got her all taped up around there. And it looks kind of funny looking. But it'll make sense to you in a minute. We're going to take our airbrush. Turn it on. Turn the pressure down a little bit. Um, now, what I'm using is a Candy 2O color right here. Now this is uh, Grab or Orange. You can use any color you want, but this is the one I'm using. Now, I did mix it a little bit just because I want this to be really thin paint. And I'm, I mixed it with 4112. Um, I did exactly what the bottle says. I think it was 10 to 25 percent per volume. Now I probably went a little higher. I probably went on the high side, probably around 25 percent or so, because I wanted it to be thin, so I could spray it at very, very low, um, very low pressure. Basically, is what I want here, as low as I can get it, and still spray it good. So, I'll move this out of the way. I've got my, my I'll take a towel here. I'll put me a, a little bit in my brush because I only need just a tad. Maybe like a couple of little drops or so. Um, now this has an adjustment on the back which will allow my needle only, to, my trigger only to come back so far. And I want to set that for this, basically. Just barely spray. So, what I want to do is I just want to spray right along that last tape line. You can see right there, I want half on the tape and half off the tape. And I want it spraying back that way so it bends it out. And once we get that little bit sprayed, we can peel off this one piece of tape, like so. And we'll do the next line. And then you pull off the next piece of tape. And you start to see the pattern here. Peel off 
about the next load. Get the idea, just keep going till you get all the way out to the end. When you get down here to the end, you can see I peeled the tape off there, and then you got the straight line here. You just follow the straight line, just like you did the rest of them, basically. Just like this. And it looks like that. Now, what this is, is some over-reduced black paint. Now, this is just black paint. I've got it. I've got it reduced double um, of what it normally would be. Um, like if it's half and half, I would mix it um, like one part to one part. I'd mix it two parts reducer, one part paint, just over reduce it. Reason being so you can spray it at low air pressures and you can spray it just like before we've got our airbrush set where it's just barely spraying. And what I'm gonna do is that tape line that we've got laid down here around this edge from the whole from the very beginning we're just going to follow that around but just on the outside we don't want to get down in here and mess up any of this beautiful paintwork here uh, and we're just going to add it to the outside just so it gives it a little more depth a little more pop around there and it doesn't take much that's pretty much it right there that's how it looks um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other three sections and then we'll untape everything and we'll come back and we'll start spraying our clear over it and making it look nice and, and polishing it out and all that good stuff that we normally do uh, I'm really liking the way it looks all right guys so what I did is I just sprayed a quick little coat of clear on here so that way whenever I paint these other panels and I stick my tape down it doesn't peel up the paint that I've already laid down um, but you can kind of get a look there as how that clear once it makes that glitter just pop right through that um, candy and makes it shine like that it looks really good hopefully the camera's picking that up uh, as you can see here uh, i've already gone through and finished up all four sections of the thing you saw me do this one here um and once i got it finished i've gone through and i've put a coat of clear over it now uh, um you know you can see the ivory the stripes around it and um, everything in here now um, and it's not looking too bad <clears throat> but yeah hopefully um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and finish clearing this up uh, and I'll probably start uh, probably start polishing it out just playing with it uh, stuff like that just seeing it, seeing how deep I can get it to look um, how shiny I can get it to look um, but I hope this uh, video has helped some of y'all out. That's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later. If you like this video and you want to see more, you can click around here on the screen. And what you'll find is a, another video that YouTube thinks you should watch. Or you can subscribe to my channel. Or you can even go over and check out the channel of my uh, local model club here. I post videos of shows we do, um, shows we go to. Uh, models on the table at the meetings and all that good stuff so go there and have a look check it out